So these are the Yonex Aerus Z and X, and these are the latest generation of the Aerus family, which is aimed at the super light, super fast shoes on badminton. So before we start, I want to thank YC Sports for sending these over for me to show you guys. Uh, they're a family-run sports retailer with almost 40 years of experience. They carry the full range of Yonex equipment, so including these shoes. So do check them out for all your badminton needs. Link in the description below. So right off the bat, I think these shoes look incredible. Look at these guys, look at the color. So apparently they come in three color schemes, although I think the UK is only getting two. So these are the mint blue. They also come in pastel pink as well as bright yellow or light yellow, depending on what model you're in. They look super cool, including a 75th anniversary version from Yonex, which is completely white. They look absolutely incredible. I think they're on show this week in the Thailand Open. So if we start by focusing on the looks of these two shoes, right off the bat, you can't really see too much difference bar the color of the soles. So the Aerus Z will have the blue colored soles, whereas the Aerus X has the normal tan colored non-rubber, non-marking rubber soles. Um, the X also has a different tongue design in comparison to the Z, um, as well as bigger logos. You know, so the logo sizes are actually different. So there is also a letter Z or X on the tongue of the shoe when you're in between the laces. So that actually helps differentiate the model of the shoes. So I need to talk about the weight of the shoe and this is a UK nine and a half size model. So 280 millimeters if you need to be really exact and they weigh 288 grams for me. The Aeros X is slightly heavier, same size, 336 grams. So I'm gonna compare both similar technologies that are actually on show in both shoes, uh, moving from the bottom to the top before going on to technology differences from both shoes. So the Yonex Aeros Z is marketed as a high-end shoe for the super light, super fast category, and then whereas this one is a mid-range upper model for the Yonex Aeros X. So both shoes carry the round sole design along with the hexagrip pattern on the sole. So whereas this is in blue and the Yonex Aeros X just carries the normal tan colored soles but also with the hexagrip design. They then also share the durable skin light. So it's the material that is encompassing the mesh. So both models share that. Um, and then obviously I just spoke about the mesh. It's the double Russell mesh. It's the mesh in between the dur durable skin model. Both models also carry power cushion, whereas the Aeros Z has power cushion plus, which is the yellow bit that's actually on the base of the shoe. So the Aeros Z has two models of power cushion, power cushion normal and power cushion plus, whereas the Aeros X only has normal power cushion in the shoe. So we now go on to different technologies that are actually shown in both shoes. Obviously with the Yonex Aeros Z being the more expensive model, it will have more. So we're gonna start with the base again. And so here you can actually see the Yonex Aeros Z has the power cushion plus, which I've actually discussed before. So it has better shock absorption as well as better repulsion. And here it has a power graphite drive. So it's a, essentially it's a graphite sheet embedded in between the shoe design, whereas the Aeros X doesn't have one. So on the fitting side of the shoes, the Yonex Aeros Z has a toe assist design, which is designed to assist fitment of your toes within the shoe, as well as a synchro fit insole sock liner that is actually on the inside. So they provide better fit, whereas the Aeros X carries the ergo shape technology design, which is the standard model of design for them. So the Yonex Aero Z also has feather bounce foam within the midsole of the shoe, which is designed to provide a better fit of your foot inside the shoe while wearing them. So these are the differences between the two shoes that you actually see here. So personally for me, I tried the Aeros X first and I felt the shoe fitted really well, fitted really great. Um, within the ankle area, it provided a lot of support. I was comfortable with it, the shoe fit really well. Um, but then when I moved on to the Aeros Z, it felt like it fitted better. It just felt like a much better glove fit 
and I, I can feel that my whole foot was actually enca encapsulated within the whole shoe. So yeah, I think the, the, the design philosophy actually works and the materials that they use actually do provide that feel. So it was a really good feel. So overall, I think these are really good shoes. Uh, they are incremental design updates from Yonex on the Aeros lines. And you can actually see where the design features come from. So you can actually see that the Yonex Aeros Z shares a lot of the design philosophy that's from the Aeros 3, as well as if you look at the Aeros X, it kind of carries, carries across um, the design philosophy from Aeros 2. So obviously this is trickle-down design technology. Um, they share a lot of very similar materials. So this has Power Cushion Plus, this also has Power Cushion Plus, and the fitment and the feel of the shoes are quite similar. Uh, durability wise I've never had any issues with the two and the three and I believe these two will feel exactly the same um, they are very very well built and they feel great so if you're someone coming from the Aeros family of shoes I think these two will do you really really well if you're someone who, are, who is new to the Aeros family of shoes this might be a good model to start on so I hope you like this video make sure you subscribe to the channel there's more equipment reviews coming soon um, all thanks to the collaboration with YC Sports. So do check them out, link in the description below, and I will see you in the next one.